Hi guys. So um, this video is about the um, movie review of the September issue. Now those of you, those of you who don't know what this movie is, is basically a documentary about um, the one of the biggest magazines, the heaviest. Um, magazine in Vogue history. I think that was. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I guess through that it is also about um, Vogue. You know, how how Vogue um, issues out a magazine every month. How much um, pressure Vogue is under. How much work goes into this much like paper. So, um, first of all, I want to express that I really enjoyed the film, actually. Um, I, I really liked it. But then again, I really like fashion, so maybe maybe that's not much. Maybe I'm biased. But I think the editing of the film, the, the way they filmed it, it was not campy. It was very real. I felt I was there in Vogue, the old Vogue office with all with Anna Wintour, with Grace Coddington, with all these um, big name editors and uh, writers, designers. So I really enjoyed it. Um, if I didn't express that enough, um, if you think that this film is going to tell you a lot about Anna Wintour, um, it doesn't really. There are segments of her interview, maybe like four minutes of interviews um, sprinkled throughout the film, but there, is, there isn't a lot of like intense um, interviewing, I guess because she is a busy lady and she does have places to go and things to decide, so I guess they couldn't like get her to sit down for a real long time. And, maybe, and I think I have a feeling that she's a very private person, doesn't like her... Um, doesn't like to show her personal side, which I can understand. I mean, she is a businesswoman first, and her reputation, she needs to keep her reputation, which I can understand. But um, but in this film, you do understand that she is human. She's not, she's not the bionic woman. She has her weaknesses, her strengths, her, um, her ups and downs, her good and bad. So to be, it's not fair to um, criticize her just from... The Devil Wears Prada, which um, actually, compared to this film, um, there are some elements that are true and there are some elements that are false. For example, Anna Wintour doesn't just like, um, uh, how do you say it, insult you because she wants to, but as but then the Anna Wintour that uh, Meryl Streep portrays, it was actually kind of um, a little meaner than Anna Wintour actually is, I think. She just speaks her ma mind, and I went to her. I think um, there's nothing wrong with that. She does her business really well, and there's nothing else you can say about her. You respect her. You know that she is a straight line. She will not sugarcoat anything for you. That's not her job. She's not your mother, so I totally understand that. And then there's uh, Grace Coddington, which um, I think she's a. Uh, like kind of a stylist in Vogue and she uh, foresees all the photo shoots. She's really hands on um, even though she's really high up in the food chain of Vogue. She personally puts shoes on the models, makes sure the garments are dressed exactly the way they're supposed to, um, you know, for in respect to the designers of course. And she is amazing. Like I didn't know she existed until this film, which so I'm so glad I watched it. She's probably one of my idols uh, by now because of the film. Um, she's my inspiration. I hope I can um, inspire to be like her in maybe about 50 years if I'm lucky. Uh, some of the pictures that she visualized and she made come true is just it's like a fairy tale to quote from the movie. It's a fairy tale. It comes true. Um, it, it the way she does it is just amazing. In the film, uh, towards the end of the film, there was something that she did which was phenomenal. I don't think I could could have thought about that. Thought about it. The idea was amazing. I don't know how she is so creative, but she is. She was a former model, so she probably knows a bit about photography and how the, the way 
photographers uh, take the pictures, what they want, what readers are looking for. So maybe that helped her a lot too. Um, it's just the film just gives you a human a human side to a lot of uh, these these people, um, especially Grace. Um, she she had a lot of uh, tender moments in the film that were real. Like some some of them, she, I think she was trying hard not to cry, and I think some of them Anna Wintour was trying hard not to cry. You know what I'm talking about if you were if you watch the film. Um, but yeah, so back to Anna, back to uh, Grace. She's amazing. I love her. Um, oh, she's the one uh, with red brownish hair. That's kind of long, kind of light and fluffy. Um, if you see the trailer, you know which one she is. Uh, she gives some really good advice in the um, film for future people who want to be in Vogue. Um, she says that oh, this one one guy, uh, African American male called Edward, he had uh, thick rimmed black glasses, black the rimmed glasses. And uh, she was in Anna Wintour's office, pulling her looks for a shoot that um, you know for her to like approve of. And Anna didn't approve of anything, and pretty much um, spoke her mind and told him that none of these work, so come back with something else. And he, Edward comes back. I'm just gonna tell a little bit, I guess. I mean, it's not like a huge importance, but so I'm just gonna spoil a little bit. And he comes out and was like, "I want to kill myself." And then Grace, Grace was there because she was the one who was supposed to do the shoot. So she was like, "Oh, why?" And then he was, he was like, "I just got thrown out of Anna Wintour's office, well, figuratively speaking." And she said that um, sh you have to basically fight for yourself, or else you're get you're gonna get the blame. I think that's I, I took some notes. <laughs> I'm such a geek. Um, I think she said um, you have to demand what you want, um, or you're going to be blamed for it. Like you have to fight for it. You have to be tough because if you're not tough, nobody's gonna be tough for you. Like you are your own person. If you're not gonna fight for what you what you believe in, then nobody else is going to do that for you. So that's what she's, he's like. She's like, don't be too nice. Don't even be too nice to me at work because you need to grow a tougher skin. Like, just, just to stand up for yourself, basically. Stand up to Anna if you believe this is, uh, if, if you believe she's wrong. I mean, the worst she can do is, you know, don't like disrespect her, but like totally sell your vision. Um, so um, I think that she's right, and I'm going to carry that advice with me um, forever. And another one she gave was um, when you're in the car, or when you're on the ferry, or you're on the airplane, um, don't fall asleep. When you're traveling, don't fall asleep. Because when you look out that window, when you look out uh, into the world, you never know what inspiration will strike you at any time, anywhere. So um, that that was a photographer that told her that when she was modeling still, and I think that is very very true. I spent so many hours looking out the window, not knowing what I'm looking at because I'm thinking too hard. I suppose I think I should I should take her advice to heart. I mean, inspirations are everywhere, as many of you know, and um, it's just beautiful. So I think. I don't want to spoil too much of the film, that's why this review is going to be a little hard, but um, the point is, the final note is that the September issue is a must-see for people who are thinking of going into the fashion industry, because it actually shows you that it is not all glamour, it is not all fun, it is cutthroat need to su survival it's a jungle yeah it is definitely a jungle there are a lot of predators a lot of people that you know just looks out for the magazine they work for the magazine they don't work for you personally they work for the magazine so selling the magazine is the number one priority and um, yeah go see it enjoy it and uh, give me any comments on this video and uh, if you didn't like it please tell me why you didn't like it because I always like to know a different opinion this is only my side of the story I love to hear yours so yeah give me a give me a give me a shout out and um, I'll see you guys next time bye